Hey there everybody, it's Anaconda Squeeze once again in Skyrim on the PS4 bringing you a player home mod today sitting in the middle of Riverwood. This is the Princess Riverwood Cottage brought to us by Princess Stopper. Four years ago I reviewed her Solitude mod, I think I was pretty happy with that and that was back when I could swear on YouTube. So we're back at it one more time. Now, I will warn you this is after me doing an hour and a half of another mod called uh, Garden of Eden in which I wanted to shoot my brains out and now I'm doing this one because I just could not be bothered to continue with that And I'm hoping for a good mod So we're coming through Riverwood here past all the nakedy people now I, from what I can see from the description It should just be straight down the opposite end from where you enter the very first time This is where the opposite end of where I've entered Did I miss it? Am I stupid? Possibly. Is it this one right here? I believe so. Ivy Cottage. This is the one right here. Um, looking at it right now, it, it clearly fits the aesthetic as I walked right past it and didn't even notice. But this is cute. I like this. Uh, this is promising to be a very good starter home. Uh, it is free. It's right at the beginning of the game. Uh, it's a very nice place just to continue with. So let's go and let's see what we got. Some boots. Lots of stuff. So I'm thinking about uh, early game playing through here. We're going to be wanting to steal a lot of stuff and sell a lot of things. So that's kind of what I'm going to be looking at going around the outside. Just want to make sure we check everything out. We don't miss anything. Doesn't look like there's anything kind of going on on the outside. Let's head straight in and have a peek at what's going on. I'm excited. It should be pretty good. I'm actually very, very happy to see that we are doing a mod that, from a dev that we dealt with years and years, years ago. Now, this is not a new mod. This is way back from 2016, so this is something I could have reviewed ages before, and I probably should have. This looks nice so far. Some weapon racks, we got some stuff we can, we can take that, sell it, and hang up our own stuff. Some empty storage here. Some practice dummies. Lots of storage, it looks like. That's kind of cool. Oh, we got our own little sink. I wish those worked. I wish those worked for Sony, but those are really cute. Um, kettles, lots of stuff we can take. Coin purse, 17 gold to start with. A gentleman's guide to white run. There's a few things that we can steal here. Food is going to be a big part. And yes, it's all dynamic stuff there. We can take all of that. Awesome. Actually, oh, so far I'm excited. This is a good place to, looks like a good place to start out. We have our cooking pots. We can get right into cooking some good food. This definitely looks familiar. This one 100% looks familiar to me. Oh, empty chests here. We've got some fire salts. We have some basic crafting stuff right away. Take all of these fun jar items right there. Oh, I love when we have these little tiny jars. That's cute. I really like those. While this does look familiar, I can promise you I haven't done it. I did do a search uh, hoping to see if maybe I had done the previously named Ivy Cottage mod, but I haven't. Some static decoration there. What do we got over here? Just some more decorations and potions we can steal. Empty storage chest. Our cute little bed over here. Is this our bath? Oh, that's adorable. This is just for us to wash ourselves in. More stuff to take. Blacksmith's potions. That's pretty good, actually, for early game. <laughs> How do we get over here? How do I get to my fun stuff? We're going to have to just deal with it that way, it looks like. Charcoal and gold. It's not bad. Like, honestly, for a starter house in the first town, it has quite a few things. Um, lots of stuff we can sell. Lots of early game stuff. Like, the food itself is just going to be helpful, especially if you've seen me play. God, I need food constantly because I'm always getting my ass kicked. This is not bad. It's got ample storage. Uh, it does have a minor bit of stuff to display your weapons and shields. It's got your crafting stuff. Uh, you're in, sorry, you're enchanting stuff, not your crafting stuff, because uh, there's nothing really to craft for at this point. But we've got cooking pot, we've got white run right there for the smithy and all that stuff. This is actually a pretty decent starter home. Um, it's cute, it fits the aesthetic, and uh, one of the big things, it's always been a big thing for me, it's like it does kind of match the size. Maybe it's a little bit bigger inside than it is outside, but I'm not going to take too many points off because it, it does, it's fairly accurate. It doesn't, it's not intrusive to the area, like again, like I walked right by it. It fits in with the village, it looks nice, and it's just got these cute little like flowers on the outside for you to use. This is a nice mod. I will put the link down below if you want to check it out. This is a great mod if you're going to start out again, which thankfully because of our, our streaming series, I have had a lot of people tell me that they are kind of getting back into Skyrim again, which is great to see. 
So I would highly recommend just taking a peek at this mod. It's a nice starter house. There's nothing too crazy with it. Go ahead and have a peek. Um, I don't think you'd be disappointed. If you liked the video, please like down below. And if you haven't already, guys, don't forget to subscribe. We do do a streaming series where we check out mods that might not be covered uh, through a showcase themselves. So make sure you check out uh, easiest ways to hit that bell so you get notifications because I do like to post at least a day before. Kind of giving you guys a heads up for when we're streaming. Until next time, my name is Anaconda Squeeze, and I will see you all later. Bye!